Happy Saturday evening, everybody. So for another Saturday evening, I have decided to make another movie review. And this is another ancient Greek movie that I have a blast with. And if you think about it, rewatching it, it's basically God of War the movie. Why do you ask? So it takes place in ancient Greece. There's abs, there's muscles, there's swords, there are weird creatures. And speaking of weird creatures, this is based off of actual ancient Greek history about the 300 Spartans that fought the Persian Empire. And they encountered some weird creatures that they have never seen before. But there's one question I have to ask about the movie 300. Not just with the comic book writer or graphic novel writer Frank Miller or the ancient Greek philosophers that wrote these stories in history. But my biggest question is a third act. And that would be, drum roll please. What is that goat in the third act doing there? <music> 300 is a 2007 epic historical movie directed by Zack Snyder, and it stars Jared Butler, Lena Headey, Michael Fassbender, and so many other roles. And this movie is based off of the historical event of the 300 Spartans that rose against the Persian Empire. And at that time, the Spartans were very heavily outnumbered by the Persians, and it was their duty in order to conquer obstacles that they had not seen before, or these were, you know, actual things that they had to take care of. And throughout this movie, there is narration from a Greek soldier who talked about the journey of King Leonidas and how he led them to greatness. And throughout this movie, you get to see how the ancient Spartans were and how they had to serve their service to Greece and how... They had to help out their nation once and for all in order to defend them from the enemy. And as far as narration goes, this movie is like what I said. It's based off of the historical event of the 300 Spartans that beat the Persian Empire in their battles. And this movie is also based off of the 1998 graphic novel written by Frank Miller and his interpretation of it. And basically with this movie, you get a mix of history and references to the graphic novel as it's a movie that is a mix of historical fiction and historical facts and from what i've seen about this movie this movie is pretty awesome this is a movie that is just stylistically excellent in terms of its fight choreography its cinematography its visuals its battle sequences i mean there's just a lot of things that you can see and you can really appreciate because this movie does a lot of things that are just really cool for an epic historical movie especially this one and the reason why 300 is such a special movie is because it twirls historical fiction and historical facts into one and you just watch it and you're you just really don't know how to view it as a historical movie i still view this movie as a historical movie but at the same time it's also fiction and the funny thing about this movie is that it reflects the way how people have reflected on historical facts for thousands and thousands of years and that's the thing I find really really funny about this movie but nonetheless this movie is just awesome and I also love how Zack Snyder directed it and based on his movies this probably has to be my favorite Zack Snyder movie because this has to be his most straightforward film there's no plot holes that I got confused with the pacing was excellent from act one to act three, I was very gripped up to how the story was structured. And this probably has to be like the best story structure from a Zack Snyder movie. 300 is a movie that introduced people to Zack Snyder's style direction. And his style is something that kind of bothers some people because he's very specific on the way how he uses action and he does visuals. But to be fair on him, this probably has to be one of the coolest visual movies I've ever seen. This movie was shot in a big screen, or actually not a big screen, but um, a green screen in a studio. And once you watch it, it just looks almost exactly like ancient Greece itself. And the way that ancient Greece is presented in the movie is very dark because it's trying to reflect a very dark period in that time of the Spartans and how they had to and how they were suffering under a tough rule and how they were under fear. And another thing that this movie does is that it uses a lot of slow motion and a lot of 360 shots. And those are things that are also going to kind of annoy people as they watch it. But based on the way how he directed it and how he tried to not just reflect the 300 Spartan story from ancient Greece, but also the graphic novel by Frank Miller, I thought it was very appropriate. The slow motion is used at perfect timing. It's it's not used all the time, but it's used for like epic moments whenever Leonidas is fighting 
and he also uses a lot of, you know, spin moves, you know, and it's really, really cool watching him. The other thing I really appreciate about 300 is how Zack Snyder had some specific shots that reflected the way of how scenes were written in the graphic novel. And from the way that they were shot with famous scenes like the famous This is Sparta scene and then a, another shot of like Leonidas putting his shield behind by him. I thought they matched incredibly perfect and it's just really, really amazing seeing those shots because it does offer, you know, a definition of what it means to be an epic movie. And from the way that this movie is made, it is epic. And some of the things like the cliches of this movie kind of feel a little funny, but they, they're just really cool and visually amazing to look at. One of the best things about 300 is the acting, and I actually really, really love the acting. I really appreciate Jared Butler as King Leonidas. He really does feel like an actual Greek king who really cares about his people. He's not only famous for the This is Sparta line, but he's also someone who just really wants to take care of his country and to watch over all of Greece. And I also love all the other actors that were very devoted to the roles, especially the big men that had to get very, very fit. I can't imagine how much dieting and workout they had to do in order to be actual Greek soldiers and warriors. And I also love how the movie is also told from the first person narration of a Greek soldier and how how the story of Leonidas really inspired him to be an even greater Spartan. And that's all I have to say the, about the acting. I, I also really love the stunts that they did for the battles. This movie is very, very bloody. I do not recommend this for younger audiences. There's a lot of graphic violence and a lot of weird imagery that they would not be able to tolerate. So this movie is also very, very much for mature audiences. I also really, really love the costuming. And as ridiculous as it is to look at it and how much weirdness they put into the costuming, it's still really, really cool. It still feels as if you're in ancient Greece with this type of clothing because of how they tried to reflect ancient Greek society and even the Persian society back in the ancient times. And when I look at it, it's really, really cool how they're wearing their capes. And I also really love Leonidas' helmet as it does look like a Spartan helmet. And that's a type of helmet that I would really visualize if I ever read anything related to ancient Greek history and mythology. That's the way how I would visualize an ancient Greek soldier or a warrior. Although this movie is incredibly dark, it has a pretty cool message about how size matters not. And that is a message that has been said by Master Yoda in Empire Strikes Back when he tried to train Luke Skywalker in Dagobah. And with this movie, it plays a very, very important motif. Whenever you see King Leonidas trying to motivate his 300 men saying that, hey, this is not all about how much men you have, nor the size of your hearts or the size of your team, but it all depends on the strength that you have within your mind and body. And it's really, really cool how this message is very applicable to not just the soldiers, but it should go for everybody because no matter what height you are and what size you are, you can overcome possibilities. You can overcome obstacles. And throughout this movie, you really root for Leonidas because the obstacles that the him and the Spartans were facing, they're really, really tough. They're fighting all these really evil people and as well as you know these forces that were just incredibly unstoppable they had to use it through their toughness and their mentality and their strength and that's something that really really amazes me with 300 especially with the ancient greek story of leonidas now it uh, it does take a lot of research in order to see how spartan society was and based on this movie it does reflect on the darkness of spartan society and how People just had to be tough. This movie is a tough watch. Not just because, you know, of the violent imagery, but just how everything in this movie is tough. Sparta's tough, the war was tough, and everything was tough. As for flaws, I can say that the acting can be a bit too dramatized and laughable. Although it's really good, especially with how the actors were be able to portray emotions whenever they're struggling with something, sometimes it's a little overacted and you start to kind of giggle, especially with how, you know, they go, this is madness, or how the this is Sparta scene caused out to be a very famous internet meme that I still laugh at every time. And another thing, that I'm gonna point out is like what I said at the beginning of my review. Whether this movie is based off the comic book or graphic novel or the ancient Greek history, what is that Greek, I mean, what is that Greek goat 
creature doing there and i know it's trying to you know be um a little bit of a fantasy but at the same time when it went for that weird goat creature i was like what is this <laughs> and you know he's just sitting there he's like oh <laughs> and every time i watch it it just still wows me but i'm like whoa they did that and it bothers a lot of people and it kind of bothers me but not Really, but those are usually my flaws, you know, that it's sometimes overacted and that goat thingy. Despite all those flaws I've mentioned, there are still a lot of pros to really appreciate from 300. And overall, 300 is a slick and entertaining ride. There is great cinematography, wonderful visuals, awesome choreography, and really crazy battle sequences. And this movie is insane in almost every way, but it's insane in a really, really good way and a really interesting way and you kind of get some education about ancient greek society and especially the spartan society so therefore i probably have to give 300 maybe an 8 out of 10. well that's it for my review thank you very much for participating and watching my review and if you like these videos go ahead click and subscribe thank you very much ladies and gentlemen <laughs>